the rhythms of the freight trains mm. and those kind of um, kind of translated into into the, the rhythms of, of music and now with the technologies that we've got we're, we're not even taking that we're just taking that literally now and just mm. saying well yeah let's just use the modern sounds and then make that the music you know so now we're hearing like these beeps and whistles that you hear when you go into McDonald's and you can hear the the, 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 the burgers are, are cooked and there's yeah. all kinds of alarms going off all over all over the place and we're hearing it subconsciously and that is is actually affecting the way that music's coming out isn't it yeah. mm. well wow. by using technology is there is there a point where you have to is there a line where it gets too processed or do you think you have to guard against that a little bit it depends doesn't it? I think mm. it depends on on how how well it's done, if it's tastefully done, mm. or if it's just a mess, you it's know, a matter of taste. Then really. it, it comes down to tech, the, the production technique and who, mm. how good the person is who's doing it, mm. and that's it, really, isn't it? Because if an, an intention, are they intending to make it sound like that, and that, do they have full control over it? Mm. Is that what their artistic intention is? Otherwise, <laughs> yeah, people are just making a mess, and sometimes. Though people make a mess and make a fortune off it, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should we go back then? Uh, origins. Uh, right. Tell us where you're from and uh, when did you start playing music? Yeah. Um, well, I'm, I'm. I'm actually. I was born in Southport, um, just, just north of, just north of Liverpool. Um, I do usually tell people I'm, I'm from Liverpool, mm. but so mostly because of the fact that. No, no one knows where Southport is. Yeah, they'd know. I, I mean, I tell people I'm from London. I'm yeah, not, I'm from like an hour outside London. Yeah, right. It's near um, I mean, and my my yeah, you know, my family is from Liverpool, and they moved to they moved to to Southport, um, but just before having me. So, but then we ended up moving back when I was about nine or ten, hmm. um, back to Liverpool. So then I've I've grown up in Liverpool. It is a big part of me. I lived in Liverpool for um, up until um, the end of college. So then I moved to uh, back to Southport to finish college, and then I moved to uh, to Preston for university. Mm. I ended up staying in Preston for like ten years. I escaped for one year to move to, to go to Cyprus, but I ended up coming back, going back to Preston because, uh, well, my heart was still there. I hadn't um, completed my degree. I had to do, get that finished, and because there was mu there were musicians there, and there's a scene there that I want, I, I love being part of. Um, so I wanted to get back and you know jam with my mates and mm. make music because I, I, I spent I think it was about seven years playing with a guy called uh, Dwayne Greaves and we wrote a lot of stuff together and we just we could just write together you know mm. very first time we ever jammed together uh, we wrote a song called um, Slow Down Baby which is which appears on on the, the on the new album Jinx to Feel mm -hmm. uh, so that um, and and actually when we initially wrote it and we were playing it in a band in a, a six-piece band it was like a Jimi Hendrix funk song uh, almost like funk disco with a Hendrix lick on it and it's, mm. it's incredible incredible track but then um, literally like a, six months before I left Preston um, we, it, we converted it into a, an acoustic track it, and it's still you know I, I always say uh, great songs it doesn't matter how they're done they're always great songs so you can take you can turn it you know you can um, just completely turn any song into any into any style mm. like uh, what's it called uh, that what's the, the the guys that did the uh, the radiohead the the reggae one um ah oh, yeah 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 no they've done yeah they've done dark side of the moon sergeant pepper as yeah, well yeah yeah and, and it's an okay computer they did yeah and, and, I can't and remember if it's a great song it's it a great song no matter how it's done and that's that's the case with slow down baby it sounds great in in mm. any way that it's played so uh, and that was just what the way that we wrote together it was we, we wrote stuff that was just great we, it dragged me into the stu into the studio mm. sometimes to, to to finish a song, mm. and I'd be hung over and not in the mood, and he'd be like, mm. "No, just do it," and, and it forced me to write, and I'd be like, "Okay," and and, I'd, and it'd still be a great song. Mm. So I don't know. We kind of just brought something out of each other that we, that was really um, better than just the, um, us on our own. I think. Uh, can we just go back to if you don't mind talk about Liverpool because I think Liverpool, oh, yeah. Liverpool's something that overseas people or whatever would know more about. Um, has it retained uh, a lot of its uh, identity? Because what, what's Liverpool famous for? I mean, humour for, for sure. Um, um, used, I guess comedians, pop groups. But Liverpool as a city, what is it famous for? Well, Liverpool was the 
um, was the main port city of, of, it, of Britain, wasn't it? Because mm. it, it was easier to get to than London. And because mm. of that, um, it, it's essentially like the Sevilla of, of Britain, right? And mm. um, we got a lot of wealth from that era, the, the, this um, even pre-industrial era, era mm. um, and right through the industrial a, uh, era. I think we're still in it, to be honest, but there we are. Um, <laughs> there's lots of eerie architecture on the buildings of like slaves and chains. Mm. Like uh, on, there's a building called the India Building, and, uh, and it used to be where they brought the slaves for, for processing um, once they oh. reached the, co the country, right? And, and, and it, but it's a beautiful building, and it's mm. got a lot of this architecture that's got like a, it's, it's has this light and dark aspect to it where it's beautiful but you think man this was this was used for something quite dark you know yeah. a dark period of our history um but uh, no there's I, I don't know there's so much to liverpool it's really hard to kind of just put your finger on mm. one thing that it's good for um do i ask one thing do you think the humor comes from that sort of dark past is it is it like a reaction or a liverpool humor is very kind of dry and ironic generally isn't it? yeah i think humor comes from Humor is a, a coping mechanism. Yeah, it comes from adversity. Yeah, yeah. Against adversity. I remember there was a um, was it the, the Dalai Lama or Gandhi that I know I, mean, I know Gandhi visited the North, and he was saying that he thought that the people of England have great coping skills. And mm. I think the Dalai Lama commented on it as well. But I think it, it's part of that that sense of humor that we can we find a way of laughing off everything yeah. that's happening, like anything that's troubling us. We can, major things happen. And the first thing you're waiting for is one of your mates to send you a joke about it, right? And oh yeah, yeah. I kind of went off. Yeah, I kind of went off that when a famous person dies. Yeah, like Michael Jackson. That within. was a race, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. it was a race to who, who yeah. could send the joke first when Michael Jackson died. It's all right. I had one saved. <laughs> yeah, there's one <laughs> of. Um, I got this email once. It said latest pictures from the Titanic, and it was around the time the James Cameron film came out. And it's basically two skeletons at the bottom of the ocean doing that angel thing <laughs> on the, the bow. You know, that famous scene. Yeah, yeah. The two of them, with their two skeletons. <laughs> yeah. But, no, that we, I think that, well, we've got a lot of great comedians coming from Liverpool. And, and also, mm. I think it comes from the fact that, that, um, that musicians, they say musicians are frustrated comedians and comedians are frustrated yeah. musicians. Yeah. In a lot and of cases, a lot of musicians true. come from Liverpool. So yeah. I think that then a lot of comedians, a lot of frustrated comedians up here mm. and then just the comedy it comes with it right so I think the, I think the two things come together mm. I promise I won't talk about the Beatles too much but oh. very very quickly now, I was reading actually a new biography I know there have been hundreds but this guy has been researching it for 10 years and he's one of he's like a round Beatles expert and he was talking about when they used to play essentially they you know you always get a bit of repartee when you're introducing a song but they had almost like a variety act in the early days, before they were famous in Liverpool. They were like a variety show. And, and when like, they, they used to play in venues where sometimes the power would go out or the lights would go out, and they, just, they could just go on like doing loads of shtick together. It was fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, I love all that. But, um, but Liverpool's obviously got a little bit gentrified. Um, Liverpool 8, the shopping centre. Have you been back there recently? Yeah, I didn't recognise it. No, yeah. I was really disappointed because they, they actually, they, they've, they've made this gaping hole where, where uh, HMV used to be mm. and I, 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 used to, I mean I used to spend hours in HMV um, like hassling the people that work there to put like so many CDs on for me on the, on the mm. headphone and so I was disappointed that it was that shop that they kind of made a void in the street and mm. um, yeah it was but Liverpool needed modernising and it's happened and, and, and it looks great and I, I also, also like the fact that they've, they've cleaned the place up Mm. Because the, the, some of the buildings in the centre of Liverpool, near the near the front, near the um, the liver liver buildings, mm. the, the Three Sisters, um, they've they've got um, these huge vents for the the t Mersey tunnels, and I don't know if it was just whether it was that, but they were black. The, all the buildings were black, and I I, I grew up with them, all these buildings being black. I thought they were black. Um, and they've recently just cleaned them all up. Oh, and just it's black with grime. You mean? Yeah, they were just black, <laughs> black with smoke. And I don't so know, where, I don't know where it came from. Um, but I mean, you look at old pictures of Liverpool, and it, it seems to have always been like that. You yeah. know, and I don't know where it comes from. Maybe the coal going through the city. Um, but they've recently just they've sandblasted all the buildings, and they look amazing. Mm. Liverpool looks like a, a new city, and and it is it, it it's still it is a, a different city. It doesn't have this, a lot of the things I grew up with. 
I used to, I used to like going down the uh, the Albert Dock and, and going down to the, the Tate Modern 